Now, Mediterranean cyclone Zorbus has triggered flash flooding across Greece, bringing heavy rainfall and strong winds to Athens, the central and northeastern Peloponnese and Evia. The area that was hit the hardest was the southeast of the Peloponnese Peninsula, with the coastal capital of Kalamata and seaside villages being inundated by waves. The public has been advised to exercise caution and avoid unnecessary travel. Well, with me now is Chris Fawkes from the BBC's Weather Centre. Chris, welcome to you. So explain just how bad this storm and its aftermath has been. Well, we've seen all kinds of impacts from this storm, from boats being mashed into the shoreline, torrential rain that's brought flooding into some towns and large and battering waves. It's the kind of impacts that we see often from Category 1 hurricanes over in the United States or the Caribbean. And in many ways, this system is kind of like one of those. It's known as a Medicane, a Mediterranean cyclone. And um, let's take a look at the satellite picture. We can see exactly uh, where it's been. And you can see there it is working into uh, the Peloponnese. And that was where we've seen the biggest impacts, really, in terms of the torrential rain, large and battering waves, and the flooding that we've seen as well, which I've even seen pictures of, you know, cars being floated mm -hmm. down rivers that have just been inundated really. So that's where the system's been today. It's been very, very rough across this part of uh, Greece, but across the whole of Greece, they've had a top level red warning. Uh, so it has been pretty serious widely. And now the uh, storm itself is working northeastwards. Like hurricanes, now that it's interacting with the land, mm. the strongest winds are actually going to ease away pretty quickly. But you can see the extent of the rain working in, not just across Greece, but now into Turkey as well. We are likely to see some further localised flash flooding issues through Sunday and into Monday as well, with the red weather warnings over the next few hours being downgraded to amber. But amber weather warnings, nevertheless, still in place throughout uh, Sunday, so we could see some further big impacts across the rest of the world. And just looking at these pictures, as you're saying, not kind of used to seeing this kind of damage done in this area, are we? No, I've, I've seen images on social media that shows trees bent double, mm. you know, just like you see when a hurricane hits. Yeah. And uh, these systems, as I say, the kind of hybrid weather systems that sit somewhere between the normal areas of low pressure we get in Europe, you know, in the mid latitudes, and hurricanes, and really, I say between, it's more towards the hurricane end. Yeah. This is a warm core storm. It's got massive thunderstorms spinning around it. The only, the only real difference is how these things start off. And they start with a lump of cold air in the upper atmosphere. That creates these big thunderstorms. The jet stream kind of helps them yeah. spin up, whereas in hurricanes, the jet stream's nowhere near them at all. You know, actually, that could kill hurricanes. But the, right. these systems kind of are initiated by the that. Temperatures have dropped massively as well, I guess, as you would expect. Yeah, for sure. But what's driving this? The very warm seas. You know, those seas in the Mediterranean, 29 degrees across the South Med. It's about three degrees warmer than the seas normally are. So who knows? These things are quite rare, but you never say never. We could even see another one of these uh, this autumn or winter because the conditions do look uh, still favourable for maybe another one to develop. Gosh, well, let's hope not. Chris, thank you.